Getting a girlfriend is like playing League of Legends. I know. It sounds crazy, but hear me out. There are a lot of similarities between the two, and I'll give you an example. Getting CS through minions and objectives is your reliable source of income, like earning money from a job. From a girl's perspective, the better you are at this, the more financially secure and consistent her life with you will be. If you have 10 CS per minute, you have exactly that. More consistent and reliable games. Watching rank guides in League of Legends is like studying at school. We all have access to the same information, but some just are smarter than others. It all depends on how you apply yourself. Just like how some of us play ranked while others exclusively play ARAM. In League of Legends, applying your skills through practice can make a huge difference, which is equivalent to investing time at the gym and eating healthy. Your training will help you build confidence that will carry over to all your games and interactions with girls. So this is very important. Talking to a girl, texting her, just like in game, one misclick at a crucial moment can lead to a gray screen of death, which will have massive consequences on the success and longevity of the game and your date. Toxicity is a big problem in League of Legends and in dating. If she is griefing your relationship by spam pinging your phone, calling you trash and saying GG next, then it might be best to mute her and continue on with a new game. Be sure to respect yourself out there. Teammates, these are your friends. Well, most of the time they are. Some are great women, but some hold you back so make sure you're working with people who are great women and stay away from those that sabotage you from achieving victory. Surround yourself with people who support you and want you to succeed. So the enemy mid laner is missing. Enemy jungler is nowhere to be seen. The team is spam missing pings on you. These are all warning signs. Just like reading a girl's signals and understanding what they want. Pay attention to their body language. Make sure you're listening to what they're saying. If you are on a date with a girl and you have bad map awareness, it can be frustrating. So brushing up on that skill is key. Making a bad play is like, on top of having bad map awareness, you also decide to trade aggressively with your opponent and die to a gank. Then turning around and blaming your jungler. This is like going on a first date with a girl who has zero interest in the conversation. Flo's body language looks like she wants to leave, but a second later, you lean in for the kiss. Resulting in you telling your friends that it was her fault the date went poorly. The right answer to both cases is to gauge the situation and play passive until you are in the clear for a trade. Remember, if the jungler is always hidden, he's probably wasting his time waiting to gank you. But if you fail, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes after dying, you can respawn and still win your lane. It doesn't hurt to try. Same goes for a bumpy date. Just learn from your mistakes and keep improving. There are plenty of fish in the sea and plenty more solo queue games to play. There it is. Getting a girlfriend is like playing League of Legends. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any tips or tricks you want to share, let everyone know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.